Hello and welcome to the StarCraft 2 graphics video tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to be converting Diablo 3 models into a StarCraft 2 model format. Um, for this tutorial you'll need an MPQ editor, uh, obviously 3ds Max, and you will also need the StarCraft 2 editor. Uh, and obviously you will need Diablo 3 files from the beta, uh, so you can extract them. But anyway, first of all we're going to our MPQ editor and... Oh, I forgot. You will also need a set of tools that I left in the description for download. Um, you should download them um, in before the starting the tutorial anyway. Uh, but anyway, first we want to open our MPQ editor and we want to open our Diablo 3 MPQs so we can extract the files because obviously first we need the files before converting them to anything at all uh, but anyway you can find the Diablo 3 MPQs and uh, hold on I'll check to okay in program files and then Diablo 3 beta uh, data d3 PC or Mac if you have a Mac um, MPQs and you will find a set of MPQs in here. We the models are usually the appearance models are usually in client data, and the textures are, are most obviously in the texture MPQ. So we're actually going to do the the model structing first. We're just going to go to the client data MPQ and then you go to appearance subfolder. And the .app files should be the model files, so we're just going to pick one at random, maybe this Leor chest rare should work. Uh, I kind of like it, is it a chest or a chest rare? I think we're going to be with, we're going to go with chest rare. But anyway, I'll extract this to my desktop so I can find it easily you should extract it to whatever folder you want and then we're going to open our textures mpq so we can find the texture uh, the textures are usually the same name as the model for example my model was a1 a1 it's an appearance my model was a one done Leor chest rare so the texture will most likely be around that name so we go to our MPQ editor again and we find a one done um, Leor chest rare it's right here the dot tex files are the texture files I'm guessing text for texture short or whatever I'm also going to extract this to my desktop so I can find it easily. Um, that should be done. I should have my textures, texture folder created with my A1 Leor chest rare. Uh, so now you have to use the tools that I posted in the description. First, we're going to convert the .app file into an obj, and to do this, find the d3 app convert to obj application, and this is a tool that runs on command line, so you can either uh, figure out how to use it with all the sub padding and padding in Windows, or you can do my little trick to quickly use it which is that I copy it to actually not my documents I copy it to computer and I copy it right into my local disk in my case it's the C drive in your case it could be the H drive or the G drive whatever so I just copy it and Windows asks me obviously to allow him to copy the file and then what I'm going to do is that the model file I actually copy this to to the C drive 
and Windows asks for permission again and you can see that in my local disk C drive I have the D3 app converted to OBJ and my appearance model file which is the LeRHS rare and that should be it. To run this application like I said it needs to be in command line so I'm going to go to win to the home button and type CMD and this should, this program should appear the CMD that executable and what you need to do is run it as administrator otherwise it won't be able to to create a new file which is in this case the obj file because it won't have permission for it so if you if the cmd application the command line application runs and it has a pattern like in my case it has windows and system 32 just type cd dot dot cd dot dot and repeat that many times until you are on the on the drive letter in my case it's the C drive and in here what you need to do is type the application of, to convert to the OBJ format which in this case is D3 app convert to OBJ remember to use caps where I, th I do think that this program is case sensitive so just use just type in the program with however whatever caps it has or whatever but anyway the tree app convert to obj dot, dot x and then that this little line i think they they are called dash in english um or hyphens yeah i think they i think they are hyphens and the f letter which means file and then the appearance file name which in this case is a1 dune a lower hyphen lior chest rare whoa we missed a capital C here chest rare dot app and we should press enter and it should say converting the appearance file and then write an object data to whatever and if you go back to your C drive you should see that we have an A1 layer chest rare obj file so now this file is ready to be opened with 3ds max but first we're going to convert our texture file which we have right here our texture for our dot dx file for our model and to convert this to the DS format to use the other app that you can find the D3 text convert version 0 0.9 this file works way easier than the other file uh, you just kind of just have to drag the texture file into the executable and it should say random information about the model and just press any key and you will see that you have a A1 layer chest rare DDS texture or whatever but anyway mm, now we're ready for 3ds max we won't need the MPQ letter anymore and go to the 3ds max import and find your OBJ file which we left in the C drive, if you remember correctly, and um, here it is the a one done Leor rare dot obj file, and just click open. And if you don't know what these options are, I recommend that just leave it them like that. I usually just leave it like that unless I want something special, but that's obviously not in StarCraft 2. And it's your error because it doesn't find the material. That is not a problem. The converter is still in the very early phase. So we obviously don't have many information. And you can see that the model is rotated. So we're going to go to a top viewport. I'm actually going to maximize it. 
and then with the rotate tool I'm going to do rotate negative 90 degrees and it makes it like it like if it was standing right there I actually think I'll just rotate it in the theta axis C axis uh, just like this yep I like this and now you can see that the model has no textures so go to the material editor this icon or press M hotkey and make a new StarCraft 2 material let's see StarCraft 2 material and then in the diffuse map for it have a StarCraft 2 map obviously StarCraft 2 bitmap and find the texture that the that the application outputted but anyway it's right here the A1 done Lear chest rare dot DDS and it's even already in the DDS format so we need not convert it to anything else um, so just kinda apply this material into the object and you can see that we have a properly textured material and the next step that we need to do is uh, convert it to mesh obviously so we can export it to StarCraft 2 and now we're going to our utility tab and uh, M3 export and I think I'm just I actually have no options here and then um, I'm just going to name it like D3 random model yes D3 random model and now we should just wait for the export to work and it says for successful for two four seconds and uh, we will need any max we won't need any max <coughs> we won't need 3ds max anymore so we'll just close the time I'm not sure if I should save this in I probably won't save it and now we should just go to the editor actually I'm going to do one little thing first I'm going to copy my textures to the desktop and we can go to the StarCraft 2 editor and go to the import uh, model so you probably already know how to import files I won't explain it deeply but anyway I have my d3 random model.m3 and I want to actually I want to import the texture first so I'm going to find my texture which was the where is it? Hmm. that's just weird let's see I have my texture right here the Leo Orchestra DDS oh I didn't copy it but anyway we're going to go to the import model again um, just kind of find the texture you want. I have a lot of things right here. I have my DDS texture right here, and I'm, I want it in the assets textures import path. It's right there. And now I want to save my map. I want to save it with a random name D3. And now I'm going to import my model, which should be right at the bottom, the tree random model dot m3. I won't use an import path for this. Um, you should be able to preview the model with the proper texture. This is a a good thing, very good thing. Um, now we save. The the map and now we go to our data and I'll just quickly replace the marine with this model so you can preview it in the editor model search for marine 
Hurry up, please. And now we change the merit that M3 entry. We select browse. And it should appear at any second right now. The list right here. And remember that I've I left my model outside that that weird pattern right there so I could just scroll all the way down and find it. Just shouldn't actually do it is because it's disorganized as hell. I just did it for quick access, but anyway press OK, save my map, and now we should go to our units layer. I already was in the unit layer layer actually. Uh, marine and just place any marine and you can see that we're actually placing our Diablo 3 Leor chest rare and that should be all for this tutorial kind of just fun in this model um, hope you enjoyed and any questions I'll be taking them in the comments thank you